Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can add a button that performs some kind of action to the incident form. You can actually add this to any business object in ServiceNow that you want. Um, and you could also add it to the right click context menu of the toolbar. So to the first thing you're going to want to do is in ServiceNow, you're going to want to search for UI actions in the all menu. And you're going to find it under system definition of UA actions. I already have it in my menu, so I'm going to click on that and open it up. I'm going to click new to create a new UI action. I'm going to call this hello world. The name is the label of the button that's going to appear like here. This, the label of this button says submit. So that you'll actually see a button appear that says hello world when we're on the incident form. The way ServiceNow knows to put this button on the incident form is because we're linking it to the table incident. And then we're going to want to make sure that this UI action is active. It shows on insert and shows on update. Also select client because we're going to be executing client script. If you uncheck that, it'll execute um, server side script. So we're going to show this as a form button and we're going to show this as a context menu. Context menu is this right click of the toolbar, this little menu that pops up. Now scroll down. Let's give our method, our function a name. It's going to call this show hello. And then we're down here at the bottom. We're going to actually just create a function and we're going to use the G underscore form built in object to, to get play the incident number. But to do that, create a variable called incident number, and we're going to access the G form, and we're going to use the get value function. And the get value function expects a name parameter. The name parameter is the name of the field you want to pull. But you got to put that in parentheses. So we're going to get the number field, which is the incident number, and we're just going to do an alert, which is just basically a pop-up message that'll that's a plain old vanilla JavaScript alert. And we're going to say your incident number is. Then we're going to use concatenation with the plus sign, pass in the incident number, and end with a semicolon. Now we can just go up and we can save this. Then you can go to incidents, pick your incident. Now you'll see hello world button here. If you right click the toolbar, you'll also see a hello world in the menu as well. If you click on that, it just says your incident number is, and it's our incident number. You could also click it here. It does the same thing. Of course, you can make this do anything you want pretty much. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.